Hey guys, it's your gal Jenny June. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. We're going to do an Allure Beauty Box versus the BoxyCharm Base Box. I say why not because Allure Beauty Box raised their prices in October to um, $23 and with tax it comes to 24 something you know depending on your state sales tax and then this is $25 plus tax so it usually comes up to 26 something for me so they're within two dollars of each other now so I thought let's do a versus each other box because they're pretty much in the same pricing category now and let's see how much Allure can bring their A game so let's go ahead and start with the Allure Beauty box the coloring is different on the box. It's red and white now. You open it up and it looks like that on the inside. And you do get a pamphlet per the usual that tells you about your product, but it's in the editor's point of view. They do tell you the full size pricing value of the item. We're supposed to be getting, I believe, two to three full size products now in our box where before we were already, in my opinion, getting at least one, sometimes two full-size items. So let's check it out and see. Both of these boxes are for November. All right, so the first thing I'm pulling out is the Dermalect Comaceuticals. This is the Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. And I guess this is full-size, so again, this is $42. And it is for one fluid ounce. It's a nice glass bottle there with a dauber on it. And this is basically a sleep serum that you would apply at night. It has salicylic and glycolic acids that help with congestion and promote cell, cell turnover. So I guess this is something that can help you if you are congested. It says it focuses on fine lines. Um, pore, your wrinkling and large pores. Great for age spots and uneven skin tone. So I will definitely be giving this a try. The next thing in the box is from Josephine Cosmetics. This is the Eye Dazzle Natural Long Wearing Liquid Eyeshadow. Here's the outside of the box. This is $30. I'm gonna go for it and say that this was full, full size. This is the color Meet Leona. And again, it is an eye dazzle. It's a liquid metallic eyeshadow, $30. And there is that. It looks to be a brown shade so we'll go ahead and swatch it yeah it's just okay it's not something i would normally reach for the next thing is from mana kadar this is the lip bliss moisturizing lip mask the full size is 22 dollars all right, I do not know if this is full size or not, but here's the inside packaging. And it says that um, it's basically a, a moisturizing lip mask. It's a product you can use to keep in your purse or your bathroom vanity, you know, wherever you want to put it. But this editor's thing she woke up was smoother lips. It functioned like a super hydrating gloss and my lips went from cracked and peeling to plump and cushiony in almost no time at all. Okay, I was expecting more of an applicator on the tube itself, but it does have um, an actual doe foot applicator. It does go on clear. You guys really can't see it at all. So there's that for $22. The next thing I'm pulling out is from Skin Medica. This is the Instant Bright Eye Mask. This is a foil packet. This is two patches in there, two single use patches. It's an Instant Bright Eye Mask. If you wanted to buy the full size product, it's $48 for six sets of two patches. And you put them under your eyes. 
And it's supposed to help with discoloration. Hydro, um, hydro gel patches formulated to hydrate with anti antioxidants. Plump up your tired under eyes. And that is just a, basically a sample pack. Definitely not a full size. The next thing is a one or the other page, I believe. Oh no, nope. Okay, but it is a sample size, okay? This is the Neurogen Dermology Real Ferment Micro Essence. A full size of this would be $38. All right, so this is something for your face. It hydrates your skin. I don't understand how you use it. Okay, it's an essence. So it's real ferment micro essence. So you would swipe this on and I guess leave it on and then proceed with your moisturizer or whatnot. Then we also got another sample size of Perfect Shine clarifying scalp scrub from nature lab i believe we've had this before in alarm a full size of this would be 16 dollars so this is something that you can use to uh, wash your hair and get a good scalp scrub going then we got from a cure we got the ultra hydrating 12 hour facial moisturizer if you hear some tapping, my little dog is going back and forth down here. This is a 12-hour facial moisturizer. A full size of this would be $18.99. This is a sample size. Um, basically just a face moisturizer for your skin. They're saying it's not too thick or heavy. It is more of a whipped texture. And then the last thing is a sheet mask. And for one sheet mask, they're saying it is $5. This is the Win the Last Choice Biocellulose Sheet Mask. There is it all. And let's see what's special about this. So you can pull, put the, you know, you can put your face mask in the refrigerator and pull them out for a cold mask. It, um, this mask is hydrated in serum and it's made from coconuts so if you're not a coconut fan or allergic to coconut this would not be a good mask for you but leave this on for 10 minutes you know as always it's about normal for a sheet mask and rub in the serum that's left over five dollars for one all right so for the other we got the sheet mask the two patches of eye mat patches whatever those were eye mask the little essence the um, Josephine a Natural Long Wearing Liquid Eyeshadow, which is on my hand. It's kind of a pretty shade. I just don't think it's something I'm going to grab for. Um, the Lip Bliss from Manicador. I would probably definitely use that. The Acure Moisturizer. And the Hair Scalp Mask. And then last but not least is this Dermalect, which I'm the most excited about this. I think I said it was $42 or $48. It is full size. It's the Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum that I will definitely be giving a try. Over to our Boxy Charm. Again, this is my base box for $25 plus tax. So again, within a couple of dollars of each other, I got variation number 33. I got five products in here. These are guaranteed to all be full size products theme is harvest and let's start with the first item I see here this is from milk makeup milk makeup this is the Kush waterproof mascara a waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp derived cannabis sea oil it retails for $24 so I'm not going to bother to open this up. I did hear that this formula was very dry from a really good friend of mine that also got this in her BoxyCharm. So I will probably try to um, put this on my card for somebody that likes that formula. The next item I'm pulling out is from Peach and Lily. This is the Power Cream Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I saw some people were able to get a toner and some were able to get the cleanser. I got the cleanser. This retails for $28 and it is a full-size product. 
This is a Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Uh, it's great for pro problem prone skin. It has no harmful ingredients in it and keeps your skin's barrier intact so you can start your routine right with skin that feels deeply cleansed, refreshed, and hydrated. The next thing I'm pulling out is this little size here. To me, that's a sample size. I'm sorry, that's no bigger than my finger. What is this? Usually we don't get sample size items in here, but this is an Alamar Cosmetics Para Primero Primer Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. A water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and to maximize color and pearl dimension. It's water and wear resistance and enriched shea butter helps to provide skin conditioning and moisturizing benefits. It also works great as glitter glue. Mixed with your favorite concealer to customize the primer's shade. And this is $15. That is itsy bitsy for $15. So basically it's like an eye lid primer, which I don't mind to have this. I just don't know that I would pay $15 for it, but depends on how it performs. I do like the Alamar brand. So not bad there. Um, the next thing I have is in this box here. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Peak Palette. This is a five hand palette featuring Natasha's essential everyday warm toned eye pigments that she mixes and matches from her favorite palettes. They're already organized and wrapped into one. You can see there's quite a bit of fallout there in my palette. Um, it has creamy matte and metallic formulas from the cult classic Biba, Biba, Safari, and a Sunrise eyeshadow palettes. You'll find yourself reaching for this all season long. This here is a boxy exclusive, and the suggested retail price on it would be $48. These are very, very pretty shades. I don't know what the fallout is all about. Let me open it up and check things out here. So that is very pretty. I am going to go ahead and get these a swatch for you. All right. So there they are. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Those two colors on the end are pretty light. But that's a pretty palette. And then the last thing in my box is from Yenza. Been getting a lot of stuff from Yenza lately. This is the Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask plus 8 Super Orange Essence. So this is kind of a nice treat right now with the month being November. Um, this retails for $45. It's a 2-in-1 mask infused with 8 orange skin-loving ingredients to help nourish and polish your face for a hydrated, smooth, supple, and radiant complexion. It's lightweight and exfoliating. It resurfaces skin in only 5 to 10 minutes. And again, $45. Alright, so for BoxyCharm, we got the Yenza 2-in-1 Polishing Mask. We got the Milk Makeup Mascara. The Peach and Lily Gel Cleanser. The Natasha Denona 5-Pan Eyeshadow Palette. And the $15 eye primer from Alamar. So between Alert and BoxyCharm, comparing the two, BoxyCharm definitely has it going on for only $2 more in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Alert. If that's what they're going to bring for $25 or $24, $23 before tax, then I don't know if that's something I'm going to keep around. I actually thought I did end up canceling Allure, and I don't know why I keep getting it. So I need to contact them again, find out what's going on. But I thought it would just be fun to compare the two since they are both within that same price range now. So let me know what you think down below about that. Do you like the two verses since they are in that same pricing category? Do you think that's fair for me to have done this? Just let me know. 
All right, guys, like this video. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and take a quick moment to subscribe. Hit the notification bell beside the little red button down below that says subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch me. And you guys stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.